All right, we're back. And so she wants to go back to the ship. So let's do that. Might as well just do it this way. And let's try to find some closure with that. And then we'll move on to the other missions we have here. A rally. Yeah, hopefully so. They made a little statement about how they didn't include any uh, romance between you, the player, and the companions. Because they didn't feel like they really had enough time to really make that work right. So instead you Some get to help them along with... Causing a disturbance on the ship. There. They're now, just hold on. doing target what practice. What happens if we hit the wall? Most That's not a disturbance. Alright, so what's this about? Where does it want us to go? Oh, it took us back. To this. Um, Alright, because we hadn't actually did this. Uh... She wants to talk to me on the ship. Okay. Space one chunk at a time. Bad and hilarious. That's her little spot right there. Ugh. Hey, Captain. I hope I wasn't too much bother at the bar. No. I did have fun. And I tried some things I never would have otherwise. Some of the drinks we tried I even liked. I guess it's not all disgusting. Um, did you talk to June Lei? I know you didn't yet. I messaged June Lei when we got back, and she replied super quick. <clears throat> okay. I was awake half the night, thinking about what I sent, anxious to see what you said. I reread my message in the morning, and it was unclear. I was drinking when I sent it. Otherwise, I wouldn't have had the courage. Also, sorry for the typos. Uh, so obviously June Lei was uh, just as nervous about Pravati as her. So we know where this is going. Uh, so one, okay. Not bad so far. I've ruined things in the past because I didn't say things I should have, like I've met someone who's become special to me. I want to be honest with her, so if she feels the same about me, there won't be any surprises. So Jun Lei does like you, and she said it in the most awkward way possible. <laughs> there you go. Oh, isn't she sweet? Like one of those two-bit romances where one soul's all stiff and formal, and I should be glad to perhaps take hold of your hand, miss. I ought to go write her back. Yeah. I mean, I already did. Twice. <laughs> but anyhow, thanks for taking me out, Captain. Cool. All right, so we did that. And anything we have to do to move this mission along? Oh, it's completed. Okay. Sapphire wine. Mm-hmm. Sapphos and all that. All right. So we knocked out two of the companion quests. And we got to go... Let me see. For... Ellie's is in Fallbrook. And then we still have to confront Trask. He's in Emerald Vale. And this one is in Emerald Vale. So we got two in Emerald Vale to knock those out. Um, here we still got to finish Solution Vital. So we got to go report back to the good doctor. Hopefully she's a good doctor. We really have no idea. Um, okay, so... Done with Felix here. Let's go ahead and take uh, Ellie. I like her sass. Let's go. Titus Androidicus. Oh, you know, I gave myself walking speed. I hadn't really noticed yet. I guess 25% of slow is still slow. Alright, and then after the doctor, we need to go uh, get a job from the smugglers. she go there she is standing against the wall all suspicious like smoking in the hospital <laughs> well well dr fenhill 
It's not often I see you on this side of sickbay. I make it a point not to get shot, and when I do, I can usually take care of the mess myself. It'd be nice to have you in here patching people up, not just blowing them apart. I respect what you're doing here, but you know I'm not ready to settle down. It's not you, it's me. Have it your way then. You always do. Now, about your friend here. Were I a gambling woman, I'd wager you're responsible for my mechanical safe return. I can't thank you enough. Hey. Woo! That was worth something. Cool, and we got more Groundbreaker reputation. Excellent, we completed that. And we made it up another level. So let's check this out. We've got 10 points available still. And we gotta figure out where to put it. So we're doing okay on guns. So far, I don't feel like we really need to do much about that. If we were on a harder level, I think so. I definitely, I definitely want to get this up, those two points. So let's do that. So now I get 100% of my uh, companion skills are transferred to me, which is pretty cool. And then I think we need to get this up because we're going to need to tinker those science weapons in order to... Oh, look at that. 100% master to further reduce tinkering costs than 90%. Oh, yes. We need that. Because <laughs> we're spending so much money on tinkering right now. So let's invest there. Apply that. Accept. And then, yeah, we don't get a perk point yet. Because that was an odd numbered one. Oh, and Ellie gets one. Sweet. Let's give her a perk. What'd she get? What'd she get? Um... So we don't need threat. She's got the base health already. 10% more damage. I don't feel like I really need to use their abilities more often per se. She gets five seconds of 25% damage after her ability, which could be pretty useful. I get I get armor when she gets damage. Interesting. And this is the revive them thing. Um, let's give them this one, Showtime. 25% more damage for five seconds after their action skill is done. Okay, so we got that one, and then Parvati. She gets... Two. When she does her ability, I get 25% of my tactical time dilation. That's not a bad one. I actually forgot to check what... Uh... Right. 20% more heal. Um... That's okay. I mean, I don't really need the tactical time dilation meter most of the time either. Let's give her a show time as well. More damage. There's always more damage. Cool. We got that. And now, um, I think to complete our stuff on Groundbreaker, we got to go do the Salvager in the Sky. Yeah, I'm just trying to really clean this up before I go too much farther on that. Just in case we don't get to afterwards. I don't really know how this works if you get, like... Free play after you complete the main mission, or if it's just done, or what? Okay, so let's head on up here. Talk to Lilia Hagen. What's up, Lilia? You weren't followed, were you? I hope not. Okay, so this is why we couldn't get the job before. That was a long time ago. I got a nav key to Stellar Bay. Is that job still up for grabs? Sure is. Welcome aboard, contractor. One of my guys in Stellar Bay has a lead on some high-grade salvage, but he went dark before he could spill the goods. 
We arranged a drop at the Saltuna Warehouse's loading dock. Find whatever he left there and take it to Fallbrook. My gal Catherine will be expecting you. Okay. I'll take the job. Now get going. Catherine will brief you on the details when you check in with her at Fallbrook. One last thing. When you're on the job, keep a pair of eyes on the back of your head. Understood? Okay. Understood. You'll do fine. Probably nothing to worry about. Probably. <laughs> I ain't worried if you aren't, Captain. Uh, honest. <laughs> oh, she's so... Uh... We're not gonna have to hurt nobody, are we? Not like you mind swinging your hammer or go woohoo when we're in a fight. All right, so I think that wraps up Groundbreaker for now. We gotta decide which one do we want to do next. Let's take a quick look. Um, so where's this other one? Monarch, the abandoned lab. Where is this? Oh. Okay, it wants me to search for the weapon while I was in Monarch. And then the other one's in Monarch as well. Okay. Um, sounds like actually we should have probed Lilia, Lilia Hagen a little bit more about that. Let's see, let's choose that. And probe her a little bit more about that. And then the woman we're supposed to go check in with Fallbrook. She's the one who wanted to go murder that guy for doing better business than her. Watch yourself in Stellar Bay, Captain. If you think this neighborhood is rough, Monarch will chew you to shreds. Yeah, we've been there, done that. I had questions about the Monarch job, I guess. My guy in Stellar Bay had a lead on some salvage. Find the lead and bring it to Catherine Malin in Fallbrook. She'll take it from there. Mm hmm Um, what kind of salvage are we looking for? When the board pulled out of Monarch, they buried or sealed anything they couldn't carry off-world. Apparently, one of Catherine's teams uncovered an abandoned lab with full tanks of all Abandoned lab. Gas. There we go. Okay. So I'm going after Alta Vitae gas. What exactly is that? It's exactly one million bits per cubic meter. Before you get too excited, the only thing rarer than Alta Vitae gas is a reliable buyer. Dangerous stuff. Acid for the nucleon in your cells. It's no good to anyone outside of a lab. But it can be a lot of fun, if you don't mind the possibility of rewiring your body on an atomic level. You and I have different notions of fun, Dr. Fenhill. And what's Sublight doing in Fallbrook? A few of my contractors run flights in there and out again, working around with a board embargo. We keep the community lubricated with a steady supply of booze and... Unconventional erotica. Byzantine kids with more money than sense can thank Sublight for their good time. <laughs> How unconventional. Asking for a friend. <laughs> One of my guys filmed a raptodon grinding on an auto mech. Didn't end well for anyone, including the cameraman. Oh my. Alright, back to my other questions. Ask away, contractor. Um, back to work. Okay, so it sounds like this job does lead into that weapon. So that's cool. Um, I guess they're one and the same, huh? So it's only one more. No, there's a two. Monarch weapon and abandoned lab weapon. Okay, so there's two on Monarch. Alright, let's go. Um... I'm not sure if we want to do that one right away. 
Let's finish out the companion quests. Let's say, um, we haven't done something for, uh, what's her name? Nyoka for a while. So let's do that. That is back in the Emerald Vale. We had one other thing in the Emerald Vale as well. Which one was that? Um, forget now. I thought we had two there. There we go. Trask. Trask is in the Emerald Vale. So we'll go knock these two out. Let's go do it. And uh, let's just be quick about it. Quink. And we'll knock two more missions off our list. And Parvati discussing the latest Aetherwave serial. <laughs> okay, and um, how are we for money right now? 5,549. I wouldn't mind doing a little bit more um, tinkering real quick. Let's do that. Although, it's going to get cheaper as we get up to level 100 on that. If we, if we were going to tinker, actually, let's repair everything. If we're going to tinker, how much is that? That's up to 1,000. That one's cheap. That one's not. Yeah, let's do the cheap one. Oh, okay, that's because I got... No, this is the one I modified. Okay. Cool. Yeah, let's take this one up quite a bit. All right, there we go. One more and I'd spend all my money. Not sure if that's worth it. <laughs> it's looking pretty good now. This one... We could put another level into the rifle. Let's do that. Okay. Now let's navigate. To Emerald Vale on Terra 2. And I believe that is Edgewater. Yeah. Well, it sets so, up the short little flight. Edgewater, Captain. Okay, let's go. So here we got to bring Nyoka. So we'll let go, Ellie. Bring Nyoka. Obviously, I'm partial to Parvati. And only slightly jealous of Junlei. Let's go. Okay, so we got to go to the expansion site for her. That's a bunch that way. And then for the uh, Trask, let's see where that is. He's right here. No, no, he's still a ways away too. Uh, let's go do that. And then we'll do the other. He's way out there. Let's go to the Botanical Lab. See how they're doing. It also would be interesting to see how folks are doing here with the decision we made. So we diverted power to here. So these guys should be prospering. Wonder if we can go talk to the lady in charge, just out of curiosity. You hear that? That low, pleasant hum of electricity? It whispers across the veil like the winds of change. You've done well. I would have paid my last five bits to see the look on Reed's face when the last lamp in town burnt out and the cannery fell to silence. What happens now? Time's come to look toward the future. We'll grow, I expect. A lot of workers out there with nowhere else to go. I'm not sure I feel that, that she doesn't sound too pleased. She sounds very pleased. Um, and a lot more mouths to feed. Not as many as you'd think. We're not about to let the whole town join our flock. 
Just the ones willing to renounce their corporate loyalties and live the way nature intended. Hmm. I am curious. Why did you help us? You don't know who we are. You don't owe us a thing. The plant's crawling with mechanicals, so it stands to reason you risked your life. Mm, number one. Between your camp and Reed's cannery, yours is the better way of life. You're not quite like anyone else I've met. You haven't had your consciousness programmed by the board. You're welcome among us if you're ever so inclined. Okay. So there's that. All right, let's head off to confront Trask. I was also uh, tempted to follow up on that boy with the engineering manuals, but uh, let's not get too maudlin here. Or not maudlin, but uh, nostalgic. I don't know. None of those are quite the right word. All right, so we got to get over there. How do we? Maybe we can get through over here. Uh oh. Bad guys. A little flamethrower time. Woo! I think it works. Wow, this is still emptied out from way back when. Interesting. So that means uh, those things, I guess, never respawn, huh? All right, that does not look like a way through there. get over here hmm oh wait there's a hole and there's bad things there hello These guys, this place must have preserved its level. Because they're just knocking them away, no problem. Okay. So which way we gotta go? Looks like that way, but let's we gotta check the cave out. These guys, you can't see a level on them, but apparently if I go into time dilation, I can see a level. So we'll have to try that next time. Because we're just creaming these guys here. Alright, are these guys going to attack us? No red bars yet. Let's confront him. I don't know who you are or why you're prowling around here, but I'm willing to make a guess. You're one of Harlow's gun hands, ain't you? He sent you after me. Hmm. What makes you think I work for Harlow? Right. You just stumbled into a camp full of armed strangers because you wanted directions. How much is Harlow paying you? I'm doing this as a favor. A favor, huh? Let me guess. He promised you some reward in the brave new world that was to come. Said he'd make you his lieutenant if you crossed me off. 
Thing is, you and I are at an impasse. Arlo wants me dead, and I've got no intention of dying. Why did you betray Harlow? How do I know that I can trust you? If I wanted to kill you, we wouldn't be having this conversation. Yeah, guess that's a fair point. Listen, I don't know what lies Harlow's dripped down your ear, but you'd be a fool to trust him. I never betrayed Harlow. Harlow betrayed all of us. The board's got him in their pocket, been paying him off for years. All the palaver about revolutions? It's a lie. That's the whole truth. Harlow's just another bored asset. A two-bit mercenary wearing a dissident's clothes. Yeah, I forgot to bring Felix on this. I should have. Um... Let me see. You're asking me to take your word. Show me some evidence. Yeah, I've got proof. There's always a paper trail when the board's involved. I chanced upon some correspondence between Harlow and his employer. I don't know that it makes a difference. What was I to do with that evidence? Bring it in front of the board? There's no authority in Halcyon willing to take Harlow to task. Hmm. Well, apparently I'm supposed to go find the proof. You should have shown those papers to his crew, exposed him for a fraud. I squandered my chance. If I were a more patient man, I might have confronted Harlow, evidence in hand. But I got in his face, and we came to blows. I hid my papers before Harlow chased me out. Back in the middle of the base, there's an old vent in a utility corridor. I stashed my evidence in that vent. Okay. Why would the board buy off Harlow? Because he's for sale. Anything the board can buy, the board will buy. And that includes loyalty. Harlow was a charismatic bastard. And he was ruthless. With Harlow in their pocket, the board had an informant, a pirate, a smuggler, and a gang leader all rolled up into one odious excuse for a human being. Sounds like a deal to me. <laughs> I didn't think he was that charismatic. I didn't like him. What was he doing for the board? Board sanctioned piracy. Harlow went after the ships the board wanted destroyed, capturing anybody the board wanted captured. If we captured you, we'd ransom you. Harlow liked to do the job himself. Gather up the captives on his own ship, vanish for a couple of days. Only that's not what happened. Harlow's been selling his captives off to the board. I don't know where they ended up. Re-education, Tartarus, maybe worse. Hmm. All right, I've heard enough. Take it, you've made up your mind. I'm not going to kill you, Trask, but I am going to ask for your ring. It's my only two options, other than attacking. You going to tell Harlow I'm dead? May as well. I'm never going back to that life again. Uh, here, take the ring. And for what it's worth, my gratitude. I had a feeling this guy was going to be the good guy. All right, take care. Cool. So we got to find the stashed evidence. Over there. Is that going to be... Oh, no, that's going to be all the way back there, right? That's going to point me to the ship. Indeed. Okay, so let's do Nioka's mission. I brought her, but I forgot to bring Felix. But that's all right. So what are we going to give her? Let's give her that. Uh, she's already got showtime. Mm. Give her 10% more damage. You can do that. Yeah, let's do that. Okay. It's small, but, you know, it helps. Okay, so let's get her mission on, the Star-Crossed Troopers. 
and they're back over here. So let's go to the geothermal plant. And go from there. And we gotta go. Where is it? Over here. 214. Looks like the way is right behind. Well, these guys hopefully are all still dead. The auto mechanicals. Beaks. 